Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Feast Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a new movie that's coming out that I just saw online. And it's called The Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. And this movie is really good. Um, it's pretty good, but I'm going to get into that later. First, I'm going to talk about who directed it. Now, his name is Kevin Smith. And uh, if you want to watch this movie, you have to know who this guy is because it will give you some context later in the movie. Kevin Smith is one of my favorite directors. He made a movie such as Dogma, uh, Clerks. He even helped produce uh, Good Will Hunting. He, uh, uh, I think he made Chasing. He did make Chasing Amy's Mall Rats. And the movie that got him big was called Clerks, and that was in black and white. And uh, it was uh, cult it became a cult classic. He made Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and all these great movies. So he's kind of an independent filmmaker. And Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is basically a movie. And they made a new movie called Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, which is kind of a it's a basically a stupid stoner movie, but it I love it because it talks about well. The thing about Kevin Smith is he started out just making movies with friends. And if you see my videos, you can see how I would get inspired by that. And he, he just started making, and, and he still goes with that I'm just making movies with friends approach. I mean, it's still high budget. He has a lot of cameos with famous actors in a lot of his movies. But it's still the same kind of general buddies making films together kind of theme and that's why I love Kevin Smith so much he gives a good theme with his films and now about the movie Jay and Silent Bob reboot the general plot of the first film Jay and Silent Bob Jay and Silent Bob strike back as they find out there's a movie based off of them and their characters so they want to get go to Hollywood and get they want to go to Hollywood and get that movie check cuz they oh they owe him royalty rights, so they go all the way to Hollywood and they go on this big adventure and then they meet these girls who turn out to be jewelry thieves. It's a crazy story, but I love it because the action, it's fun, it's uh, energetic, there's a lot of cool, like you'd be like, oh yeah, I know that actor or actress, because there's a lot of cameos of famous actors and actresses. Now, Jan and Silent Bob Reboot is, there are a lot of cameos, but the thing is, it's not like they're part of the plot. It's like, okay, cameo, next, cameo. It's a little bit different when it comes to the story structure. It's still stupid. It's, it's, I personally like the first one a, little, a lot better, actually. But the second one is a little more emotional than just stupid. Um, and it has a good storyline and a great message. And it's kind of a, I think it's Kevin Smith and his maturing, I think he's maturing as a filmmaker and it's going coming out through his art. And I thought, I actually come to think of it, yeah, he's definitely maturing as a filmmaker. And I think I see that in the reboot, but it's still really stupid, stonery, funny. Um, but there are aspects where he's developing his writing and I think it's cool. And... I'm not going to give any spoilers, but that's it. Thank you for watching Feast School. Wait, what? Thank you for watching Feast Review. Have a great day.